At last, NASA Demo. pilots Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore float up the tube from their capsule and into the arms of their colleagues, 400 kilometers above Earth. Yeah, and I just want to say a big thanks to family and friends who've lived this <laughs> for a long time. And uh, I think you're glad we're not with you anymore. <laughs> After inching towards the International Space Station, the Starliner vessel clasped on, marking success for Boeing's first crewed spaceflight after years of delays. Rival SpaceX has been ferrying astronauts to and from the ISS since 2020, the year Boeing hoped to begin its own taxi service. The launch was delayed again in recent weeks because of a helium leak. Starliner was flown despite the leak, only for more of them to spring during the mission. And five of the capsule's 28 thrusters temporarily shut down, delaying docking. NASA said the issues wouldn't prevent the capsule from being certified for regular use. Those are pretty small, really, issues to go deal with, and we'll figure them out for the next mission. Uh, so I, I don't see these as significant at all. The two astronauts will spend a week aboard the ISS before taking the Starliner back to Earth.